Now that we've got MAMP installed on our Mac, we can create the database that we're going to need for WordPress. And this database is going to store our posts, our pages, our user information, and things like that. So we're going to start by launching MAMP. Make sure that our servers are turned on. So we're going to click down here on Start Servers. We're going to make sure that Apache and MySQL both light up. And once the servers are turned on, it will open up a browser window. So our browser window has a welcome screen, but we also have some tools available to us here. And if we click in the Tools menu, this drop down, you'll notice we have an option for PHP My Admin. This is the graphic tool that we're going to be using to build our database. So I'm going to click on that, and that will open up a new tab in our browser where we can create our database. So when we get to the PHP My Admin interface, over here on the right, I'm going to click on the Databases tab. And once that loads, we can create a database. It's very easy to do. You can call it whatever you want to. You can call it WordPress. You can call it whatever the name of your site is. I'm going to call it WP. One thing you might need to be aware of is that some web hosts require certain prefixes for your database names. Some hosts require you to have your username first and then an underscore and then the name of your database. So you might want to check with your web host first. If you don't have a web host yet, it's okay. Go ahead and call it whatever you want to and you can approach that issue later. For now, I'm going to call it WP and under the collation dropdown, I'm going to scroll down to the UTF-8 section. And we're going to look for UTF-8 Unicode CI. That's the one we want. So once we've done that, we're going to click on Create. And that's all we need to do to create our database for WordPress. So now that our database is created, we can go in and start installing WordPress on our local system.